Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanland. Today we are talking air conditioners. Air conditioners have become really popular among our clients. So we're doing a lot of them these days and we thought we would share with you guys our favorite air conditioners that we're putting in right now. <laughs> We wanted to talk to you about our favorite air conditioner, which we're doing on, I'd say maybe about 30% of the vans that we're doing right now. We're putting on a 12 volt air conditioner. So this runs right off of the batteries. You don't need to have the vehicle started and you don't need to plug into shore power in order for it to work. A couple things before you go and run out and buy an air conditioner, there's two key things that you need to do before you put in air conditioning. Um, number one is insulate your van. The van needs to be insulated from all the walls and the ceiling, all the crevices stuffed with insulation. That's gonna preserve the cold air that you have on the inside. And the second thing you need to do is put in ventilation. You're gonna wanna have a way to get the warm air out of the van before you start to cool it off. Typically you'll do that with like a roof fan, a max fan, as you guys know. The guys just put an air conditioner on this van right here. We also have another one that's fully functional and we wanted to show you that as well. Over the past few years, it's actually been very difficult before some of the newer generation of air conditioners to get good air conditioning in a van. Clients typically want air conditioning off-grid, meaning they don't wanna to have to plug in to a house or a campsite. And obviously you don't wanna be running the vehicle all day in order to just get air conditioning. Prior to about 2019, um, there weren't a lot of great options on the market. You basically had to put in a battery system and then a powerful inverter just to get an air conditioner to run. And then often they would trip the inverter, they would fail, they just outright wouldn't work and um, people were pretty frustrated with it. But recently there are a few manufacturers, namely Nomadic and Dometic that are making 12 volt or 24 volt direct air conditioners. And basically you can hook these right up to your battery without using any inverter. So this makes it a lot more reliable and a lot less power usage. The air conditioners we're typically using are in the neighborhood of like 9,000 to 12,000 BTUs. So they're not the most powerful air conditioner, but the van, given that it's a small space, um, it will usually do the job, again, if you have it well insulated and well ventilated to start. The overall installation of an air conditioner, it's really not that big of a job. Certainly, it takes the better part of a day. You have to cut a hole in the roof, mount the air conditioner, and then wire it up to power and test it. Um, not the most difficult installation, but something if you're not comfortable with it, you should definitely have a professional help you with. This is a 144 van. It has the Nomadic 2000 um, air conditioner in it. And for the 144s, that tends to be the right size. If you're gonna do a 170 van, we perhaps recommend the Nomadic 3000. So uh, most of the ones we're doing are the Nomadic air conditioners. They just seem to be really reliable and energy efficient and also of a high quality. So that's important to us as well. The van across the way here has an air conditioner installed. It's currently running. I'm getting a little bit warm. So let's go take a look and see how that one's working. Here we are inside one of the vans. We're about to finish up. We put the Nomadic 2000 air conditioner in this. And so I just wanted to give you guys a demo of kind of how it works, how much power it draws and what it looks like when it's installed. The first thing you'll notice is that it's basically flush to the roof line. It really doesn't come down at all. So you're not losing any headroom, which is awesome. Some of the other air conditioners that you might see have a register on the inside uh, with some controls on it. It may be a few inches thick, so you're really gonna lose the headroom as you're walking past the air conditioner. So that's one of the reasons we love the Nomadic and we use it so often. So this is the Nomadic air conditioner in the wild out here. We've got this mounted in an aluminous roof rack. We did a custom cutout so it basically fits perfectly in the roof rack. Inside the van you have like a flush mounted register which is great and then up here you have a fairly tidy condenser and blower and so really it doesn't take up that much space. One of the cool things about this particular air conditioner is that it's fairly low profile. It's only about eight to nine inches off of the top of the van. So it's not gonna be an obstruction and catching branches and things like that. Um, we like the low profile and the overall size of it is just about um, 36 by 32 or so. 
is that correct? Check my measurements. <laughs> But the overall size of it is quite small for what you get. They're super dependable. So basically you've got your remote here, you just turn it on. And since it's a direct connection to the batteries, it's pretty much turns on every time. We've had zero problems with these whatsoever. You, basically you can run this in eco mode or powerful mode. Um, eco mode obviously is gonna be the ener energy saving option. Powerful mo mode is gonna be when you need to cool it down as quickly as possible. So uh, what I wanted to show you guys is how much power this actually draws when it's running at full blast. So I'm gonna turn it all the way down to 60 degrees, which is the temperature setting that, you'll, that it will come down to before it slows down. And then I'm gonna turn the fan all the way up. So it does produce a little bit of noise you can hear it's definitely not a silent air conditioner it doesn't vibrate the van or anything like some other air conditioners do so we really like this unit i think it's perfect for vans so now that it's running currently it's putting out 48 degree air and let's see how much power it's drawing okay so we have the battery monitor here which is showing that currently we're pulling about 46 amps of power to run the air conditioner i have seen it spike all the way up to 60 amps when you first turn it on especially if it's hot out it can pull up to 60 amps and then if you put it on eco mode and kind of turn down the fans you'll get a longer life out of the batteries because it's only running at about 30 amps so just kind of as a point of reference this particular van has 600 amp hours of lithium battery power Power. So even at full blast pulling 60 amps, we should be able to get 10 hours out of the batteries in terms of running the air conditioner at full speed. Of course, once it's cooled down, typically you're going to turn it down to more of like the eco mode. So pulling 30 amps, we could get considerably more, 12 to potentially 15 hours if the batteries were completely full. These air conditioners are finally easy to use for the everyday person that's uh, doing van life. Previously, we had issues with l the last generation of air conditioners, which, which needed to run on uh, typically large inverters and significant battery systems. They always seem to be cutting out or tripping the inverter or otherwise just having problems unless you were physically plugged into shore power. With the new Nomadic and Dometic air conditioners that run direct on 12 volts, you have a secure connection to the battery and pretty much little room for things to go wrong, which is one of the reasons why we truly love it. So we get a lot of questions from our clients regarding whether or not they should buy an air conditioner when they're building out a van. So it's a topic that I think we should discuss with you guys as well. Basically, everybody wants an air conditioner, right? Air conditioners are cool, they keep you cool, they keep the humidity out of the van. All things being equal, sure, take one if you can. <laughs> if, if you can. The issue is that they're fairly expensive. So the Nomadic is gonna run north of three to $4,000 for the unit itself, and then installation on top of that so you really have to consider you know your budget when it comes to air conditioning what trade-offs are you making in terms of other things that you maybe could have bought with that money instead of an air conditioner i will say for the folks that we've installed them for and they've gone out and taken their van on trips basically they come back saying they love the air conditioner they could not live without it at this point as a matter of fact we just did a video it's our family of four van tour video where our clients we had built them a van last year and they came back because the van was too hot. They had done a couple road trips and they found that being in the van when the sun was out was just very uncomfortable for them. So we added some ventilation and we added an air conditioner. So if you wanna see another van that we installed those things in, then you can check out that video. If you guys haven't followed our pro van build series yet, we're doing a series where I'm building out my own personal van in our professional shop. And believe it or not, I'm not including an air conditioning on my personal van. So if you wanna find out why, then follow the Pro Van Build Series. I'll talk you through the reasons why on this particular van, I'm gonna exclude the air conditioning. And then also your guys' feedback in terms of if you have air conditioning in your van or if you want it, give us the reasons why and what you think about the affordability of these 12 volt air conditioners. All right guys, thanks for joining us in this video. We just wanted to give you a little tour of the Nomadic air conditioner. We're doing a lot of these now and it's kind of new to the market, this ability to do a 12 volt air conditioner that's low profile, runs directly off the batteries and actually can get you some good cooling inside the van. We'd love to hear you guys' feedback on what you think. Do you need air conditioning? Do you have it? Uh, what trade-offs would you make in order to get it? So um, thanks again, guys, and we will see you next time.